Iran's done with dialogue, at least it seems when it comes to Washington. The useless sanctions imposed by the desperate US government on Iran's supreme leader and foreign minister has the effect of blocking the path to diplomacy. For years, Iran has attempted to rebuild relations with the US without any tangible results. In 1988, the US military shot down an Iranian passenger plane that killed 290 civilians, including 66 children. And although the incident was considered an accident, the Pentagon never apologized. I believe that given the operating environment, Captain Rogers acted reasonably and did what his nation expected of him. This regrettable accident, and it was an accident, was a byproduct of the Iran-Iraq war and saddened all Americans. And if past presidents are anything to go by, Tehran shouldn't hold its breath. I'll never apologize for the United States of America, ever. I don't care what the facts are. Still ready to reconcile, Iran helped organize the release of US hostages in Lebanon. But this goodwill gesture wasn't reciprocated. By 1995, even harsher US sanctions were being lined up for Iran. I am formally announcing my intention to cut off all trade and investment with Iran. The second round of reproachment came shortly after 9-11. I was one of the first world leaders to condemn these barbaric and savage act as a human, as a Muslim, and as an Iranian, I stand before you to once again express my deepest sympathy with the families of the victims and with all the great American people. Across Iran, candlelight vigils were held to mourn the victims, but the diplomatic progress didn't last long. Four months later came President Bush's Axis of Evil speech, which included Iran. This is a regime that has something to hide from the civilized world. States like these and their terrorist allies constitute an axis of evil. Finally, in 2015, Iran signed a deal with the international community, including the US, agreeing not to pursue nuclear weapons. The United States, together with our international partners, has achieved something that decades of animosity has not a comprehensive long-term deal with Iran that will prevent it from obtaining a nuclear weapon. It was celebrated, but short-lived. Dubbed a bad deal by Donald Trump, he walked away. Without any confirmation, Tehran was in violation. So perhaps it's no great surprise, Iran is tired of talking.